Out here I am in the building so um, for those of you who don't know who I am my name is Marshawn Olanio and I'm actually a life and relationship strategist and I help men and women to figure out who they are how they need to show up and who they truly want to be in life as well as in their relationship and the reason why I decided or at least I should say one of the reasons why I decided to come out here and start filming all of these videos for you guys not only for the challenge which is how to improve your relationship over the next 30 days but also because hey Karen thanks for watching but also because there are so many people so many gurus out here who are telling you how to get the guy or how to get the girl hey Cameron how are you I haven't seen you on YouTube where you been at um, <laughs> anyway so there are so many gurus out here that are telling you how to get the guy or how to get the girl but not too many people are telling you how to keep your partner how to keep your spouse and so that is one of my focuses was how to keep your spouse how to keep you in that relationship how to keep you married how to keep how to move you to the next level depending on where you're at in your relationship so today's topic again we are on day 17 out of day 30 on how to improve your relationship so today's topic is how to argue effectively yes how do you argue effectively so I want to tell you two things about what research says about arguing the first thing is arguing and how you argue hey George I see you thanks for watching arguing is the only or I should say no not the only but it is the number one way of how to tell if your relationship is going to last for the long haul how you argue with your spouse Good morning. <laughs> How you argue with your spouse is going to shape the way that your relationship, whether it's going to last or not. Another thing that research um, shows, actually, George, I'm glad you're watching because I looked this one up for you. <laughs> it actually shows that going to bed angry has a lasting negative effect. And also your brain starts to hold on to those negative um, feelings and um, it starts to create negative memories, interrupting your sleep. And then when you wake up, you have some form of depression as well so um, research actually shows that you should not go to bed angry so thank you George for pointing that out I had to go and look that up okay um, <laughs> but today I wanted to share some of the things that we're doing wrong and then also some of the things that we are doing right or what we should be doing to correct to to correct the bad behavior okay so how you should not be arguing you should not be over talking your spouse you should be sitting there to just listen listen to what they have to say but no over talking because when you guys are over talking one another you are not listening to one another you're both just trying to get out your point of view you're both just trying to say what you need to say so you can move on so you can hopefully um, speed speed up the argument so just don't over talk each other try to listen okay another thing that we're doing badly is um, name calling or calling each other names why are you doing that that is not attractive that is not bringing me closer to you it's not bringing your spouse closer to you so mm -mm, don't name call another thing that we're doing badly is blaming instead of taking responsibility for who you are how you showing up how you're reacting I'm blaming you for the things that I am doing so I'm not taking responsibility for my actions or my behavior instead I am blaming you you made me do this you made me do that no actually he or she didn't make you do nothing you did that because that's what you want to do <laughs> okay so no blaming take responsibility for your actions another thing that we're doing now this one really is for the ladies out here because we have a tendency to do this more often than men which is we let a ton of things build up before we say what we need to say don't let a ton of things build up and then all of a sudden you explode on your partner you explode on your spouse and they just sitting there looking like what happened i just said that i didn't want the chicken <laughs> so you hold on to all of this stuff and your boo is looking at you like oh she crazy because you're having a crazy moment because you did not address the things that you needed to address you waited till they built up and then you decided to express yourself no don't do that don't let things build up and then explode on your partner another thing which is the final thing that we're doing bad which is we're we're deciding to argue over every single solitary thing you don't have to argue over everything you don't need to talk about everything some things need to go in one ear and fly out the other. 
yeah, some things need to fly in one year and fly and, and keep going past all of that <laughs> and come on out the other side. All right. So those are the things that we're doing bad when we are deciding to argue. Now, a couple of things that you could replace that bad behavior with is how to actually argue effectively, which is don't um, respond, don't react respond don't react that's a big one because a lot of us let this stuff pile up and then we start to lash out at our spouse so respond and do not react when you're having a um, an argument the next thing is to stay laser focused on the problem instead of you know going all around the problem or again blaming or name calling stay laser focused on the problem get to the facts Get to the facts. That way I understand what you're saying. And as much as possible, keep your emotions out of it. As much as possible, keep your emotions out of it. Because I don't understand what you're saying when you start to whining or when you start crying everywhere. It, I don't understand. Get to the point so we can rectify the problem. Another behavior that you can change, which is don't fight dirty. I talked about the other day how sometimes we are, um, when our partner is sharing the sensitive information when we're good, and all of a sudden, as soon as we start to have an argument, now we're not good anymore. Now you're uh, tearing down your spouse, you're tearing down your partner, you're throwing the sensitive information back up in their face, or name calling, or blaming. Mm -mm. Don't do that, sis. Don't do that, bruh. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. So don't fight dirty. Another thing that you can do to rectify the behavior is when issues arise, just tackle the issues head on. Don't wait until they build up. If, if your partner is doing something that you do not like as much as possible, tackle it in that moment. If you need to walk away to go take a deep breath, I understand that too, but try your very best not to let these things fall by the wayside and again, let them build up only for them to come out in an explosive way later on. So, I tackle those tackle those issues as soon as they arise, all right? The final thing that I wanna to bring to your attention is, do you wanna be right or do you wanna be sorry? <laughs> you can be sorry, you don't have to be right about everything. Let's just move this conversation along, let's get over this argument, let's rectify this thing and move on with life because everything does not need to go down the rabbit hole. Every conversation does not need to go down the rabbit hole. Every conversation does not need to end badly either. So do what you need to do, say what you need to say, rectify these things as soon as they happen, as, as soon as possible. Respond, don't react, no name calling, no blaming, take responsibility for how you're showing up and then stay laser focused on the issue, on the problem. Stick to the facts. All right? All right, y'all. I will see y'all for day 18, which is tomorrow. We more than halfway there on this 30-day challenge. So I'll see y'all here, same time, same place, tomorrow.